An MRI is basically a scan where we can look inside the body in a non-invasive way. It's really good at looking at the soft tissue, it doesn't use any radiation. Um, basically it uses a combination of magnets and radio waves to create its pictures. You can probably see behind me the scanner, it's a big long tunnel. The patient basically has to lie down and go into it. Um, it can either be head first or feet first depending on exactly what we're scanning. This scanner is quite good because it's a larger bore, so it's a wider tunnel than a lot of the other magnets. So it's really great for claustrophobic patients. MRI is really good at showing soft tissue. So if we're really wanting to get detail of the ligaments around a joint, for example, or the joint capsule, MRI would be fantastic. It's really good at looking at the detail of the spinal cord or inside the brain because it's really good at differentiating between the different tissue types. Patients can get a scan usually on the day if we've got an available slot, but it's usually within 24 to 48 hours maximum. When a patient comes in, they basically register at the front desk and they're asked to fill out a safety questionnaire. We have to make sure that they're safe to go into the magnet. Uh, we're basically looking to see that they don't have a pacemaker or anything that contraindicates them actually being able to go into a magnet to have a scan. Then we get them changed. Usually it's down to a gown. Uh, depending on what the scan is, we may not have to get them completely changed. And then they'll come into the room, we'll position them on the table, make sure that they're comfortable, and then basically start the scan. We also give them a panic buzzer, so if at any point during the scan they want to stop, they can just squeeze that. We can stop straight away and speak to them or go through and pull them out. I'm right here, we're watching the patient the whole time through the window. We've also got a TV monitor where we can actually see them the whole time. Sometimes during an MRI we have to give patients an injection of contrast. Just basically serves to highlight certain structures and give more information about the tissue type. MRIs take a little bit longer than doing other sorts of scans. 15 minutes would be about the shortest scan you could possibly have. You could be here for up to a couple of hours, but that would only be if you were coming for a multiple examination study, so if your doctor wanted you to have a few body parts examined at the same time, but we would never really scan anyone for longer than two hours. Patients during an MRI have to lie incredibly still. Any movement will blur the pictures. If a patient's really having a hard time keeping still for any reason, um, that's the other reason we give them the panic buzzer. They can squeeze that and have a break in between, have a bit of a wriggle and then we can start the next sequence. If the patient is having a scan of their feet or their lower body, their head's actually out so they can see around the room. If they're having their head or their upper body done, they're actually in the tunnel so they'll only be able to see around inside the tunnel. There's no sort of pain associated with an MRI, but it is quite noisy so patients either have to wear earplugs or have headphones. If they have headphones, we can pop a CD on for them if they like or they can even bring in their own music. But that's probably one of the things that people remember about having a scan is how loud it is. When the scans are finished, the patient can go, that's the end of their job. The scans themselves are archived onto a computer system. The radiologist, they're the doctors that actually report the pictures. They read them and compile a report which then gets sent to your referring doctor. Well, this is the kind of scan that we can create in MRI. Basically what we're looking at here is a head from the top down and we're seeing all the vessels of the brain inside the head here. Uh, the benefit of doing this kind of scan is we didn't actually have to give any injection to get these pictures. It doesn't use any radiation because it's MRI so we're getting really great shot of the vessels inside the head without actually having to give any contrast.